Hey guys, so today let's make multicolor leather fins using the PLACYMK bundle from Bamboo Lab. The bundle consists of basic PLA filaments in cyan, magenta, yellow, and white. You could also get PLA filaments in those four colors from any brand, so they don't have to be the ones from Bamboo Lab. I'll be using the smooth PEI plate to print the little fan. Bamboo Lab also recommends that you use a 0.2 nozzle, so let's swap the nozzle real quick. Now I will print the same little fan using the 0.4 nozzle on a textured PEI plate, so you can see for yourself how they differ, so make sure to stick around. First, you need to convert your picture into a little fan STL file, and you can do that using the little fan tool on littlefanemaker.com. You can find a link to the tool in the description box below. Now upload your picture. I'm going to use this photo here because it has a lot of colors in there and we also have these fine lines. So I think it's a good photo to start with to test how capable the tool and the Bamboo Lab printer are. So you want to take this box here to crop the image. Set the first layer height to 0.15 millimeters width to 108 and height to 144 if your picture is in portrait mode or width to 144 and height to 108 if it's in landscape mode. You can rescale the image if you want or move the rectangle either up and down or left and right here. You can leave the rest of the settings as is and then you want to enter your email then click create SDL. You don't need to go through all the email activation process or anything. The download will start automatically in a few seconds after you click this uh, create SDL button. Unzip the file you downloaded just now. If you see five SDL files plus one text file, you've done everything correctly. Now let's load the filaments in the AMS light. If you're using the CMYK bundle from Bamboo Lab, your printer will recognize the filament automatically. If you're using filaments from other companies, you need to tell the printer what type of filament you're loading and which color the filament has. To do that, just load the filament, tap edit, set its type, choose the color and hit OK. Wait for a couple of seconds for it to update. Now open Bamboo Studio. You want to select all the five STL files and just drag and drop them in our slicer software. Set the system preset to the one with the 0.2 nozzle, set the plate type to smooth PEI plate and set the layer height to 0.1 millimeter. If you don't already have four filaments listed here, you can add filaments by clicking this plus symbol right here. Let's set the colors to something that's close to cyan, magenta, yellow, and white. In the quality setting, set the first layer height to 0.15 millimeters. Then head over to the strength setting, change the top shell layers to 3, top shell thickness to 0, bottom shell layers to 3, sparse infill pattern to rectilinear, and sparse infill density to 100%. Now you want to select object. Click the small arrow here to see all each individual STL file. Now you want to change the filament color of those files. Luckily, each file already tells you which color it belongs to. So if it says magenta, we're going to change that to magenta. And if it says yellow, we're going to change that to yellow and so on and so forth. Move the prime tower so it won't overlap with your little fan. If you don't care for minor imperfections, you can deactivate the prime tower by unchecking this box here. You can find this option under others setting. I recommend that you keep this on, but that's entirely up to you. Now let's hit slice and once it's done slicing, hit print and send it to your printer. One thing that you can do here is to change the temperature of the bed. Bamboo Lab recommends the bed temperature of 45 to 55 degrees Celsius to prevent warping. So let's head to our printer, enter the control menu, select the bed temperature and let's set that to 50 degrees Celsius. If you're printing your lithophane with the 0.2 nozzle, it could take a while. This lithophane here took about 10 hours to print. Now to bring colors to your little fin print, you are going to need the backlight board, which you can get from Bamboo Lab. You will need to get the USB-C cable separately though, since it's not included when you buy it, so that kind of sucks. But anyway, you also want to print the frame and the diffuser plate. 
Then you want to insert the backlight board in the frame, followed by the diffuser plate. Place your little thin print in the frame and connect the cable to a power source and see the magic happens. That looks amazing and it looks even better if you're in a darkened room. So as I promised, let's print the little fane with the 0.4mm stock nozzle on the textured PEI plate. The process is the same as what we did earlier with the 0.2mm nozzle, but we are going to change some settings. Obviously, we are going to set the system preset to the one with the 0.4 nozzle, then set the plate type to textured PEI plate and layer height to 0.12mm. Now activate the advanced settings by toggling this button right here, then set the first layer height to 0.15mm. Scroll down a little bit and look for wall generator, change this to arachne. Then head over to strength setting, change wall loops to 4, top shell layers to 3, top shell thickness to 0, bottom shell layers to 3, sparse infill pattern to rectilinear and sparse infill density to 100%. Slice your little fan, hit print, and send it to your printer. It takes 5 hours to print the little fan this time, so it's significantly faster to print little fans with a bigger nozzle. I also printed two diffuser plates, one on a smooth PEI plate and the other one on a textured PEI plate, so you could see the difference if there's even any. So let's see how they look like. As you can already tell, you get the best result printing the lithophane with the 0.2mm nozzle. The caveat is, it takes double the time to print it. Although it's faster to print the lithophane with a 0.4mm nozzle, we do lose a lot of color information and some fine details, which is understandable because we are printing at a lower resolution, so to speak. Now, I don't think it makes that much of a difference if you're printing the lithophane and the diffuser plate either on a smooth or a textured PEI plate. At least, I don't see any significant differences between them. So what do you think? Which one do you like the best? Let me know in the comments and I'm curious to see which one do you prefer and if you even see the differences at all. So if you find this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you would hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and I'll see you next time.